Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be printing these. These are um, TPU feet from my um, uh, customizer uh, on Thingiverse so that I've done in open SCAD. In um, long story short, I'm printing these on the DaVinci, and so uh, this is really my first. I've printed some test prints on the DaVinci since uh, converting it to Repetier, and um, I wanted to try TPU because one of the things I've been having a problem with is TPU on the Watt House since I switched the gear. Uh, it, TPU just simply doesn't work. It's too soft of a material and gets wound in that gear. So I figured, what the heck, I'll give it a try on the DaVinci, and it, it uh, actually came out pretty good. So what I did is um, is uh, did it on glue, and boy, that comes off nice. Now, I did do it with a bit of a heated bed, and I've let the bed cool down. And uh, again, this is coming off pretty nice. I am surprised. Usually TPU is pretty tough. Now what I've done is I've just used regular glue stick on the bed like I would for um, ABS and here's the glue stick which I've used in this the TPU held pretty well and it laid the TPU down very nice and actually what I'm thinking is I've got two of the Da Vinci's and I've jailbroken the other one or reflashed it also and so I'm thinking about um, actually leaving TPU just in one of the printers full time and making it my TPU printer so I did this at uh, 250C with a bed temp, I think of about 50, uh, sorry, 60C, so 250 on the hot end, 60C on the, the um, uh, bed, and these came out pretty good. I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm printing these out for another project I'm doing that you'll see some videos on pretty shortly. It's kind of a multi-series project that I've been working on for a month or two, getting all the pieces together. And these are the vibration dampening feet, which will go on the bottom of it. Um, Anyhow, but I wanted to show this. Now, the other thing that I didn't get a lot to talk a lot about after doing the jailbreak is, uh, or reflashing, I should say, is I did have to paper set this. This I had to pull the bed down a bit um, to get it to accommodate, uh, you know, the height because the head, the, the hot end, kept crashing into the the bed. So um, um, again, I, I just did the paper test. So I lined it up on the three points. And did it now? I to be honest, I haven't even leveled the bed since doing that. I haven't had time, uh, but doing the paper setup and, and um, adjustment has worked perfect. I mean, you can see how these came out, and, and again, so um, uh, so far I've been pretty happy with it. Now I'm also running Repetier from a Linux uh, uh, laptop, so um, I'm trying to actually switch over quite a bit to Linux from Windows. Um, because of stability and also the way it handles the USB port and, and feeding uh, in real time to this. Um, so I am, I used, did use Repetier to feed directly to this rather than the SD card. However, I'm probably going to switch over to doing the SD card in the future. But I just wanted to give this a try. So anyways, um, if you've uh, reflashed your DaVinci and you're wondering, can I print TPU on it? The answer is yes, and here you go. So this is a rather big hunk of TPU, and I printed four of them on a glued bed just using that glue stick as I showed and you saw how easy it came up so again I'm pretty impressed with how all this has uh, worked out so anyways if you found this interesting give it a thumbs up subscribe a lot more of this stuff coming um, I want to get into a little bit more about uh, the Da Vinci and the reflashing and seeing what I can really do with this because uh, it really uh, having reflashed it has opened up a number of possibilities so again we'll see you next video cheers Click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.